popular teen Alexia takes her time getting ready for school as if she's preparing to be on a magazine cover. Meanwhile, her younger and nerdy sibling, Haley, has breakfast with their parents, impatiently waiting for her sister to drive her to school. As the clock is ticking, Haley honks their car outside to signal Alexia to hurry up before they become late. Unbeknownst to her, the loud honking catches the attention of their new neighbor, Simon. Meanwhile, Alexia goes downstairs, clad in a revealing outfit. She bids her parents goodbye but calls them by their first names. When she gets outside, the construction workers catcall her, but she seems to like the attention. As they leave, their mother Nan rants to her husband Ben about changing Alexia's clothing and her informal greetings. Nan and Ben are both psychologists who try to analyze their daughter's behavior. According to Ben, Alexia only protests when she gets told what to do, so if they stop interfering, it might lessen the problem. The sisters soon arrive at school and immediately see Alexia's jock boyfriend Kyle waiting in the parking lot. Haley hops off the car and heads to class while Alexia stays to make out with Kyle. Haley then slips into her science class, but Mr. Froenfleeter still catches her being late. Since she's been late for three days in a row, he warns that if she's late again, her grades will suffer. At the gym, Alexia writes a note and hands it to her gym teacher, passing it off as a doctor's note so she can skip class. During lunch, Haley and her best friend Caitlin observe Alexia's popular clique. They wonder what they're talking about, but Alexia's friends are just pointing out each other's flaws. Later on, the sisters get in the same math class. Alexia gets a failing mark on a quiz, while Haley gets praised for getting an A. In the middle of the class, Alexia asks to go to the bathroom to change into a modest outfit. After this, she goes to Principal Mary Mittermiller's office and woos her with compliments. She wants her to write a college recommendation letter for her, but her grades aren't appealing. That afternoon, Haley and Caitlin hang out in Alexia's room. This has been a routine for them because they want to get a glimpse of Alexia's glamorous life. They try on her clothes and even read her diary, which also serves as gossip for them. As Caitlin rants about Alexia not writing in her diary for two weeks, Haley is busy blowing kisses on Kyle's picture. Suddenly, Alexia arrives, and they both peek at the window and see her making out with Kyle. As Haley and Caitlin observe this, they assume that Alexia and Kyle have already done the deed. Both Kyle and Caitlin stay for dinner. However, Haley arrives and places her new experiment on the dining table, which she claims turned Alexia's discarded apple into fuel. Alexia is annoyed by this, especially when Haley places her gum on the rim of her glass, disgusting her further. Suddenly, Alexia announces that she has found the perfect dress for the winter festival. However, it exceeds her $200 limit. Ben tells her that the dress is too expensive, but Nan signals him about their agreed plan not to interfere. Because of this, Ben surrenders his credit card to pay for the dress. Just then, Nan tells Haley to go with her sister so she can also pick a dress for the festival. However, Alexia says they're not friends, which triggers Nan. Suddenly, Ben signals her about their parenting plan, so Nan gives up the idea of making Haley go. After dinner, Haley studies for her science quiz on the rooftop while Alexia and Kyle are in the hot tub below her. She notices them and feels jealous as Kyle has his arm around her sister. Suddenly, a shooting star passes, and Haley wishes to be Alexia. After making the wish and realizing that nothing happened, she looks over at Alexia and sees her staring at the sky too. The following day, the sisters wake up and do their regular routines, but as they look in the mirror, they realize that they've exchanged bodies. Haley can't believe that her wish came true and when Alexia finds out about it, she demands her sister to wish them back. However, Haley argues that she can't because it's daytime. Desperately, Alexia comes up with alternatives, such as making wishes on a birthday cake, breaking a turkey bone, and tossing pennies on the toilet as if it's a wishing well. None of these work, so Alexia has no choice but to prepare Haley as she pretends to be her. Haley worries about her science quiz, so Alexia implies that she'll just cheat. Haley is horrified at this, so she tells her sister to fake fainting during science class so she can skip the quiz. During breakfast, Alexia eats to her heart's content without fear of gaining weight. However, she makes Haley eat fruits and vegetables so her body won't bloat before the festival. Ben and Nan also notice that Alexia started addressing them as mom and dad, but this is only because it's Haley talking. They're happy about it, but now it's Haley who's calling them by their first names. Alexia drives to school, but since she's in Haley's body, the sisters get scolded by Principal Mittermiller, thinking that a minor was driving. However, 
Haley says that she's giving Alexia a driving lesson, promising that it won't happen again. In gym class, Haley is uncomfortable in Alexia's skimpy gym clothes. Later on, she plays volleyball and breaks her sister's precious nails. Meanwhile, Alexia faints fainting during the science quiz. She gets sent to the infirmary, where Nan soon picks her up. During lunch, Haley invites Caitlin to sit with her and her popular friends. However, she soon realizes how poorly the popular girls treat people like her and Caitlin. She also discovers that Alexia was supposed to break up with Kyle last night since their rule limits them from dating the same guy for more than three months. Hearing this, Haley runs to Kyle and apologizes for breaking up with him. Kyle gets mad at first, but he softens up and agrees to meet her after school. Meanwhile, Alexia is at home, binge eating and relaxing on the couch. Suddenly, someone rings the doorbell, and it's Simon. He heard that she passed out, so he brought a plate of cookies for her. Alexia briefly thanks him, then closes the door to resume her agendas. However, Simon thinks it's weird that Alexia never asked for his name since they had never met before. Back at school, Haley struggles to their car to take Kyle to his house. Caitlin decides to visit the Wheaton's house that afternoon. Thinking she's talking to Haley, she reveals their routine of rummaging through Alexia's room. Arriving at Kyle's house, Haley finally gets to talk to him alone. He compliments her for not wearing makeup today, and they make out. Haley asks him to say he loves her, but he clarifies that he just wants to get back together. Disappointed, Haley shrugs it off and resumes making out with him. Later that night, Alexia sees a hickey on Haley's neck, so she confronts her about it. As they argue in the kitchen, Ben eavesdrops by the door, thinking that Haley just learned to stand up to her sister. Alexia is confused because she broke up with Kyle the other night, but Haley says that they just got back together this afternoon. This annoys Alexia, so she drags her sister outside and demands she wish them back. However, Haley points out that it's a cloudy night. Enraged that her reputation is ruined and she's stuck for another day, Alexia wages war against Haley. This isn't a problem for Haley since she thinks it's worth it. The next morning, Haley sees a note from Alexia, reminding her that their fight is about to begin. When she gets downstairs, she gags upon finding Alexia in a leather outfit. Alexia reminds her about her diet, but Haley decides to stuff herself with carbs. Haley points out Alexia's outfit to their parents, but Ben argues that they're both allowed to express themselves with their outfits. With this, Haley takes her revenge by wearing the same clothes she wore yesterday. She doesn't even bother to shower, and she leaves Alexia behind. Outside, Simon sees her and asks if she could give him a ride. Haley agrees since she's not driving with her sister. Later, Alexia vandalizes the girl's bathroom and writes that Haley is a wench. Meanwhile, Haley purposely sabotages her sister's shoot for the winter festival by making exaggerated faces. After this, she goes to the bathroom and sees the writings on the wall. She then erases her name and puts Alexia's name on top. In science class, Alexia takes Haley's oral exam and doesn't even try to answer them correctly. During lunch, Kyle surprises Haley with a stuffed toy. After this, Haley joins Alexia's friends, but they immediately point out her repetitive outfit and Kyle's gift. They accuse her of not respecting their rules, so Haley demands that they abolish them for good. As she leaves, she runs into Caitlyn, who's concerned about the shift in her best friend's attitude. Suddenly, Alexia walks into the cafeteria with a boombox. She plays an alluring song and gives a jaw-dropping performance on the tables. The crowd goes wild for Alexia, but Haley won't accept defeat that easily. Just then, she grabs Kyle and begins making out with him in front of everyone. The attention shifts to her, but the crowd still goes back to Alexia. Haley gets upset, but the music suddenly stops. And to their surprise, Principal Mittermiller stands before them. The two get sent to her office, and she threatens to disqualify Haley from the science fair and suspend Alexia from the winter festival. She also threatens not to write the college recommendation letter for her. Principal Mittermiller then brings them to the ladies' bathroom to have them clean up the writings on the wall. Once they're alone, Alexia Alexia expresses her anger at Haley for making out with her boyfriend. As she rants, she accuses Haley of taking her first time to do the deed, too. Haley is surprised that Alexia hasn't done it before, so she apologizes for judging her. The two finally reconcile and agree to stop sabotaging each other's lives. They agree to work together to get Haley to the science fair and Alexia to the winter festival and college. The next day, Alexia asks Mr. Froenfleeter to reconsider Haley's participation in the science fair. Haley sees her doing this a bit flirtatiously, so she signals her to act right. Finally, Alexia begs the teacher, noting how Haley worked hard for the fair. She successfully convinces him, and this delights Haley. Later that night, the sisters hang out in their backyard, waiting for a shooting star to pass by. There, Alexia reveals that she genuinely likes Kyle, so she's glad that Haley broke the three-month rule that her clique imposed. Haley says she's glad she got to experience being admired because she couldn't possibly get a real boyfriend. However, Alexia argues that she can since Simon already likes her. 
Getting an idea, Alexia suggests staying in each other's bodies for one more day. She'll show Haley how she can get a boyfriend, and in return, Haley should convince her teachers that she's more than just an airhead. As the sisters talk about this, Ben and Nan observe them through the window, convinced that their new parenting method is working. The next day at school, Principal Mittermiller meets Nan and Ben and tells them about their children's misconduct. However, they explain that they're aware of those things, but they're trying out a parenting strategy that's more of a hands-off method. The two are confident that it's working since the sisters are getting along. However, Principal Miller Miller finds this weird and assumes that the Wheaton sisters' behavior is heavily influenced by their parents. During science class, Alexia asks a boy to massage her back. Then, Haley successfully answers an equation on the board in math class. Later that afternoon, Kyle approaches Haley and tells her that he loves her. However, she dismisses him because she wants Alexia to hear those words firsthand. Before she leaves, she asks him to pretend like it's the first time he'll say it the next time they meet. Haley walks to her car and finds Simon there. He asks if he could catch a ride home, and she agrees. After handing her a box of sweets, Simon suddenly kisses her, not knowing that Kyle is watching them. The ride home is awkward for Haley and Simon, so he apologizes for what he did. He reveals that he initially liked Haley, but she became too wild. He explains to Alexia that he doesn't like her for her looks or social status, but for her personality. Haley smiles at this because it means that Simon likes her even when she's in Alexia's body. Haley arrives home to find Alexia studying for a math quiz, so she helps her out. She also shares that the weather for the night will be perfect for stargazing, so they can finally wish each other back. The sisters fall asleep early, but Haley wakes up in time to wish to return to her original body. The following day, Haley wakes up and realizes the wish didn't work. Worried, she doesn't tell her sister that she made the wish last night. As she prepares for school, she accepts the possibility of never returning to her old life. During lunch, she runs lines with Alexia to prepare her for a science fair presentation. However, she's upset that she won't be presenting something that she worked hard for. Suddenly, a student hands out flyers for Caitlin's house party. Haley knows Caitlin's parents won't agree to such a thing, so she confronts Alexia's clique and learns that Caitlin merely invited them to dinner, but they invited the whole school. Haley berates them for this, so the girls decide to call the party off. However, they refuse to apologize, so Haley ends their friendship. As she heads outside, Kyle confronts her about what he saw in the parking lot. This makes him decide to break up with her. Although this worries her, the day goes on for Haley, and she attends Alexia's college admissions interview. During the interview, Haley mentions that her inspiration is her sister for being the one who believes in her. Elsewhere, Alexia presents Haley's invention at the science fair. Since she lost Haley's notes, she improvises and manages to entertain the judges while explaining how the waste to energy conversion works. Later, on the night of the winter festival, Alexia finds Haley by the pool bleachers. Alexia is excited about the festival, but Haley suddenly breaks down, revealing that they can't switch back because her wish didn't work last night. Just then, Alexia reveals that she also made a wish the same night that Haley did. She wished to be her at that moment because Alexia wasn't going to make it to college, and her friends were forcing her to break up with Kyle. She also wished to be Haley because she knows her little sister won't make the same mistake she did. Realizing that they made the same wish at the same time, the sisters finally get why the switch didn't happen. Because of this, they head outside to wait for a shooting star. True enough, one passes by, and the sisters hold hands and wish themselves back. When they open their eyes, they're beyond ecstatic that they've switched back to their original bodies. After this, they hurry to the winter festival. There, Haley looks for Simon. Meanwhile, Alexia's old friends make amends with her, saying that they'll abolish the rules as long as they don't forget the ninth one, which is to be friends forever. Alexia smiles and thanks them before leaving to look for Kyle. She finds him in the crowd and explains to him how she and Simon were never a thing. After this, she tells Kyle that she loves him, and he can't resist but to say it back. Finally, the two reconcile and share a passionate kiss. The current song ends, and the host announces Alexia as the queen of the festival. Everyone cheers for her, even Principal Miller Miller. After the awarding ceremony, the crowd goes for a slow dance. Haley takes the opportunity to talk to Simon and asks him to start over by getting to know each other. Simon agrees, so they dance together. Suddenly, Alexia calls Haley to walk closer to the stage. She then takes her crown off and places it on her little sister's head. The sisters continue dancing with their partners, but now having newfound love and acceptance for each other. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like, it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.